Hey guys, Dan Heilman back with another Eternal Evolution video. Today we're doing a uh, champion spotlight on the new support hero. Um, she's probably my favorite support in the entire game now. I did um, Twilight Lands last night. Let me talk about that first real quick. I did Twilight Lands last night. I wish I would have recorded more of the battles, but it was really late at night. I'm kind of not feeling good. I got sick yesterday, uh, or kind of two days ago, so I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but wanted to get a video out on this girl. I um, finished up Twilight last night in about two or three hours, two hours maybe for the whole thing. Didn't really have too much trouble, but I want to say my MVP was absolutely the new support. I love her. She is probably my favorite. There's a couple things that I've been struggling in recently, um, and she really, really helped me out with that. So um, let me kind of just show you what's going on here. Let me, while well, they redid stuff, so I'm kind of uh, backwards right now. What am I trying to go to? Border, that's what I'm trying to go to, my God. Okay, so we got the new girl. Uh, she helped my Mirage Space team a lot. I'll show you that in a minute, but kind of let's go through her, quit, uh, her kit first, and I'll kind of just show you, oh my God, can I click everything wrong? Let's click everything wrong, there we go. All right, so the new support for Time Travelers. I gave me, let me just show you kind of the Time Traveler faction. So. Kind of what I said a little bit ago, um, same thing. I actually really like the Assassin, honestly. I think she's really good. I kind of want an exclusive 30 her. I'm getting close to 300. Um, she's doing a lot more damage for me than the other Assassin. I feel like this Assassin right here, I feel like she's kind of weak. I don't have her in Amazing Gear, but I have her EX30, and she does really bad damage for me. Um, I guess I need to probably swap her um out for this new girl i really like the new girl but anyways i guess not about her kind of got sidetracked but uh let's talk about the support all right i like these two together love these two they're both great love this support so let's talk about her kit let's talk about everything about her now i will say she's probably not quite as good if you don't have her ex30 ex30 is very very strong for her um it's just straight up 10 energy for every single person per second on the battlefield i think that's quite amazing and it goes very well with her heal, which is also everyone on the battlefield. So I actually just realized I didn't even have her fully talented. I only had up to level six here. I never got the rest of these talents. This one would have been quite nice if you ever happened to lose someone. Um, and this one, just after casting ultimate, immediately reduce the cooldowns, plus a big pool of HP, defense, and attack. I don't think attack is even useful for her, is it? A lot of times there's stuff that doesn't even work or mean anything. I don't think she deals damage anywhere. She, I think she physically can't attack, I think is her thing, right? Um, yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure she can't attack, literally can't attack. I'm pretty sure she does zero damage. I don't know. It says that somewhere, but can't find it. Um... Cannot use basic attacks. When Purin is on the battlefield, all allies deal 10% more damage. So instead of her contributing to the damage, um, she just makes 10% more damage for everyone. So, okay, let's go through the kit. Um, ultimate, changes the perception and pain of all creatures, increases the damage taken by enemies, and reduces the damage taken by all allies for 10 seconds. You, If you have accuracy, it reduces the damage taken even more. Um, the damage boost is up to 20% for talents, and um, for the exclusive, when activated, enemy heroes have a 40% chance to be stunned for two seconds, also based on accuracy. As I've said before, I feel like everyone in this game has the same exact build. HP, accuracy, um, that's basically what you're building on everyone. So, really cool ultimate. It also has a cool effect. It shows like this blue thing all over the battle. Um, it's pretty sweet, so pretty cool. Uh, big fan of that, okay. Next thing is, restores 90 energy to the ally with the hard highest attack. Very useful. It goes up to 150 when you're all the way leveled up. Um, and when activating, when they're below 400 energy, they receive an additional 50 energy. So pretty cool there. Um, increases the damage of the next energy skill as well um, for the exclusive. So that's uh, pretty awesome. Great support. Gains a lot of damage, damage reduction, and energy for everyone. Um, stuns the enemy target with the highest attack. This is awesome as well. There's no range in any of these things. You'll see she kind of like, I feel like she teleports around as well. Because I've seen her randomly in the very back of the battlefield for some reason. I don't think I saw anything that says she teleports, do we? Uh, let's finish going through the kit. So, um, stuns for four seconds. It's quite a long time. And also doubles the damage taken 
um, in collab event. This one's not super useful, um, obviously, because it's only for the collab event. But uh, silent uh, night enhancement, 40% chance. Um, again, affected by accuracy to lower the target's attack as well. So pretty cool. Highest attack lowers their attack and stuns them. I'm sorry, and um, increases the damage they take. My God, can I talk? Okay, there we go. Okay, passive. This one's really cool. So just passively, um, all allied units recover 0.7 of her max HP every second. When an allied hero dies, the skill's recovery is increased to 8% for 5 seconds. Uh, you don't want to lose anyone, but if you do happen to lose someone, then it increases her healing more. Um, it goes up to 1.5%, which is really good. I mean, you build her high HP, 1.5% of her max HP every second is quite insane. Um, and, and then if a faction, um, if one of her faction dies, all allied units immediately heal 40% of her HP. Pretty huge. I mean, you don't want to lose anyone, but in case you do, that's a very big heal. Um, and then we got while she's on the battlefield, all allied heroes restore 10 energy per second. This is why I think her EX30 is so important. Not only does it give her the base stats to make her heal more and, you know, have more survivability, all that good stuff. You can see you get damage amplification, obviously totally useless on her, but damage reduction HP, obviously super useful and just constantly having the energy for every single person in your team is quite strong. Um, she doesn't have to use an ability. This is always, it's just literally always happening no matter what. Um, and then she gives even more energy from her second skill. So that's pretty cool. I have her talents done. There's no skins. I have her EX30. Now let's go over equipment. There's many different things you could do for equipment. You could give her healing gear, which will just mean that she heals even more and she's constantly healing literally every second. So healing gear is very good. Max HP gear is very good. You want accuracy. I don't have 200 accuracy, I don't think. Um, how much accuracy do I have? I have about 150 accuracy, so I'm a bit short on accuracy. I need a little bit more, but you could also run her in some of the other sets. Let's see what they recommend. Um, if I go replace, what do they recommend here? If I go to the filter, let's see what they recommend here. Vigorous, abundant, makes sense, and rebirth set. Okay, I'm surprised they don't. Uh, um, literally, where is the set? I feel like Light Gap might be okay as well. So, and they have the new version of Light Gap set, um, which I think would be pretty good as well. I'm having trouble finding it right here. HP and recovery. I think this is it. Oh no, initial re resonant. I think it's this resonant set as well. Um, which apparently I have only a couple pieces. Is this the one I'm talking about? Yeah, accuracy, initial energy. This one might be good for PvP especially. It just allows her to get her ultimate out a little bit quicker. Um, I think this would be a good one, but I don't know. Maybe the abundance set is the best one just to give her lots of uh, healing. You know, there's another, there's the new healing set as well, which gives max HP as well. I don't have her in great gear, but I'm focusing basically on HP, damage reduction, um and accuracy those are the ones i care about the most crit damage reduction is nice to have defense is nice to have um so again accuracy defense damage reduction um hp damage reduction accuracy the crit and crit damage and all this stuff is totally wasted on her again she can't even deal damage um but hp defense damage reduction crit damage reduction um this says literally just damage reduction that's an awful piece why do i why, why, why do i even have this this is an awful piece <laughs> again again i just used the quick equip on her and then that was kind of it i tweaked her gear very slightly um but we need definitely a better uh, we should have a definitely a better chest piece in here we got to have a better one right um i've been actually farming gear again there was a point in time where i didn't farm gear for quite some time just because I, um, you know, didn't have enough bag space and other stupid reasons, but uh, like stuff like this, I should probably level up something like this. Uh, again, HP accuracy, crit damage reduction, um, definitely a good piece here. So what do we get? Crit damage. Uh, yeah, I'll do that off camera. But anyways, need to upgrade her gear a little bit. This piece is quite nice. Damage reduction, HP, accuracy, defense, everything she wants right there. So this is kind of her build. Um, but just I'm really been impressed with her in a lot of content. I used her like crazy. There was levels where I was using Miranda in Twilight and I was struggling. And then I threw her in and it was like, boom, instantly crushed it. Um, all that energy regen and just... When you have the entire battlefield being healing 
being healed constantly. I think it's quite insane. Let me just throw in some other content. I've been trying to farm a lot of gear recently. And if I keep on going to the wrong place repeatedly, ever since they moved to the border, I go to the wrong place constantly. Uh, it's Sunday, so everything's open. So I've just been farming a lot of Mirage. I'm trying to get really good... Um, I'm trying to get really good Marauder gear for my teams. I've been using Assassins and um, Nord a lot, so I'm trying to get better gear for them. But I dropped her into this team. This team, I would get crushed about... I had to run this like four or five times to be able, when I was using Miranda here, to be able to beat this level. Now that I have her in here, um, it's almost 100%. I think I failed one time out of like the 10 times I've been doing it, but kind of just want to show you um, her healing compared to, uh, I guess, Nord, uh, who's doing self-healing. But just her heals every second, you can see, 68, I don't know, 27, 70, 68, yeah, 68. Every single second, she's healing the entire team for 70,000, right, which is quite insane. Um, and then she's boosting my highest attack, which I don't, honestly don't even know who my highest attack is in this team. Might be Nord, might be Ravenna. I'm actually not quite sure who's the top in this team, but even having Miranda in here before, who also can block deaths of some of my team members, um, and she does the big shields, I was losing this battle a lot of the time. Um, and then ever since I dropped her in here, I think I've lost one. I've been farming this all day, trying to use a lot of my stamina I've been saving up because I'm just trying to get uh, a lot more gear. I want to forge a lot of the immortal gear as well i'm really trying to work on my gear lately because there's been a long period of time in this game where i was kind of just so frustrated with bag space that I, I stopped farming gear for honestly probably seven months uh most of my gear was getting straight up deleted by the mailbox um i'd have thousands of pieces in there and i was playing the game every day but it was just deleting my gear so i finally took the time and they've also improved a lot of the interfaces i haven't talked about it in a while but they've improved a lot of the interfaces in the game I know there are some people leaving the game recently just for, you know, newer games like uh, Watcher of Realms and stuff like that. But I've still been uh, enjoying the game. They have been doing a lot of improvements. Um, there, I will say that a lot of the events are kind of rinse and repeat from other events, which I think bothers a lot of people. Um, but I am happy that they're doing some quality of life updates and stuff like that. So it's been pretty good so i guess we're kind of out of the point where it really matters for this fight um this fight takes quite a long time because i just wanted to really show um you know her instead of other content now there's other content like this where i still haven't done anything with i have to um do some more stuff in here and honestly she's probably a good place replacement in here as well so we got the hunter stage right here and then we have this new stage and i have been using serena but maybe we just use someone like the new support and see how she guys does now the point of using her is is honestly oh i have another uh, i finally have the tank artifact as well um so let's put that up there and then um so she should give a lot more cooldown for um everyone in the team so maybe we'll be able to beat with something like this uh, let's just give it a try real quick. I don't want this video to be too long, but um, I just feel like she's an amazing support. I'm really happy with her out of all the heroes in the game. The new tank seems pretty cool. I need to mess with him. He has some support as well, um, but I kind of just wanted to show the support. All these levels now, they have multiple teams, so it's kind of it's kind of hard to show the content uh, just outright, but she's probably going to be amazing in PvP as well. I mean, she seems also like a great PvP hero. I don't do a lot of PvPing. Um, we just had... Um, Summit Arena start, so we'll see. I didn't even, I don't think, I don't even think I registered for the last Summit Arena. Uh, I've been really stuck on free time lately. I've been working a lot of hours at work, got the one-year-old at home, and obviously that's an uh, insane amount of work. Um, so I just haven't been really able to keep up with you know, this channel, my other channel, and my real life, right? So, pretty cool. This Miranda is like unkillable. We'll sit here for a couple hours and kill this girl, just kind of hanging out. Just for the fun of it. There we go. Finally. All right. Cool. So now let's see. Um, let's just go next team here. Let's see if throwing her into this team allows me to do something a little bit different. This one's really hard because um, you just have to knock him down. Otherwise, your whole team dies in one hit. So maybe just having her in there for the extra energy regen is going to help. Who's my highest attack, though? Hopefully, my highest attack isn't her because then... That would increase her damage, which would be literally useless. I don't know. Can I see the buff? Oh, I think I see the buff right here on this dude. I think he's got the highest attack. 
I think that's what's going on. I think he's got the highest tech. I think the, that's what that increased uh, buff is there, I would think. Um, how do you see buffs in this game again? Isn't there a way to get see buffs? I thought they had the buffs down here. Maybe it's because I don't have them set up. Do I not have them set up? Above HP bar. Oh, yeah, here we go. Both. Okay, there we go. That's what I needed. Um, okay. So now we see the buff here. I can't click it, but... Um, I believe that's the damage buff from her, I would think. So that probably means he's the highest attack. Okay, here's our first phase. The boss is going to do some stuffy stuff. And then we're going to have to knock him down in four seconds, man. There's not a lot of time. I mean, I could manual this for sure. I'm not a big fan of manualing, so I usually don't. But um, that's why this one takes a lot of RNG just to beat it. Because you got to knock him down every time, of course. If I, I guess, should I try to do it the real way? Should I actually try to do it the real way? And then use everyone's alt when he goes into that phase again? I probably should. Um, just let the auto attacks deal the damage right here, I guess. There's also a timer you have to compete with. So um, I probably should just do this the right way and, and actually manual it. I've seen a lot of people use res on, you know, a tank that obviously has a high chance to knock down, which would be probably Panda, I would think, has the highest, I think. So now I should just be able to use all these. Um, that worked, it looks like. It looks like he got knocked down. Man, he got a big chunk of damage dealt to him as well. Zyda pulling up the rear. Zyda's the tankiest of the tanks, but clearly does the least amount of damage. Uh, so here we go. I actually haven't beat this level yet, and it looks like we're going to beat it again. Of course, I've manualed it. So it's I've tried a little bit harder than I've normally tried on this level, but just kind of pointed out there. Okay, so let's just click everyone here. Let's get those alts going. There we go. We got past it. So we're going to beat this first time. Now, I don't know how much was the support. You can see she has done a lot of healing, even though... My tanks have self-healing, so that's pretty cool. I guess we can still just blast these because there's no more phases, right? Watch there be a phase right at the end, and then I fail because I just used all my ultimates. That would be really funny. But look at how much, pa how many alts Panda gets. It's crazy. You can just continuously alt with her on the battlefield. Um, so there you go. First win right there. First win. Again, I haven't tried much on that, but pretty cool. Uh, 400 million, 300 million, 100 million. She did... 83 million healing, not bad. Did more healing than the tanks who have the self-healing capabilities. So that's pretty cool, but just want to talk about her. Uh, been really loving this girl. She is freaking awesome. She was a huge improvement for my Twilight runs. Um, there was a couple levels I was stuck on. I really should have recorded it, but I was just tired, not feeling good. So I didn't record any of the Twilight, but yeah. That's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like and the subscribe button. Have a great day, everyone. See you guys.